What's going on guys, it's me, Sammy Mong, back at it again with Riders of Icarus, and guys, today we'll be going to capture Windrunner. I've got the Windrunner mark, I've got, I've done everything I've needed, I've just got to find him. But we're going to go through how you can get him as well, and we're going to start off with, of course, first obtaining the Windrunner recipe in Bard Crafting, the Windrunner mark. And it is kind of a hard one, you have to go up to the Hakanus Highlands and go to the cemetery and you have to kill the elite priests there, level 26, level 28 and it's an un uncommon drop as well, like it will take a while for you to get the drop but once you've got it, it, it it's worth it, so to say the least but it is a hard drop, it's not like Hoon Baba, you're gonna have to grind away at the priest obviously, once again just like the wiki says the priests are pretty hard to kill, they're elite mobs, everything's within close aggro range, so you've got to be prepared before you're grinding away to get this mark. So, once we've got it, you then think, what do we need? The next thing, and this is the reason why it took so long for me, is to get in the albino ash tails, okay? The rest of the stuff we will go through in a second, but to get the albino ash tails, you have to get your own albino ash tail mark to be able to tame one. So now you can see where the grindy, lengthy time it took to get the mount is coming in. So to get the albino ash tail mark, you simply have to come over to the Sea of Hakanus and start farming the Ashtel Phoenixes that are here and they'll drop the mark themselves, the Ashtel Phoenixes and then once you want a Ashtel or Albino Ashtel to spawn, sorry it's like the Pluto Mount, the one in uh, Familiar Academy in Hakane's Crossing, that's it you have to kill off these Ashtel Phoenixes and then one will spawn, it seems one has already spawned though I haven't got any more Albino Ashtel marks on me which is a bit of a shame because they do sell quite well in AH, it's like you go and have a look at the common horned owls that you need to get these albedo, uh, albino ash tail marks and then if you look at the albino ash tail marks to get the wind runner you can see that they're, they're they're quite pricey for what they are and it is a good money making scheme but just to go through it once you've gotten both marks you've got the wind runner one from the hakanas highlands cemetery killing the kahimis kahimis i can't pronounce it and then you get the albino ash tail mark by killing the ash tail phoenixes and then pretty much you've just got to get five albino ash tails as i said kill off the ash tails albinos will spawn it does take a while for them to spawn and it took me a hell of a long time to get some just because of other people here so a few tips if you're here is to if you're here alone, don't worry about killing them all off and then checking to see if one is spawned, because one probably has. But if you're here with other people, kill one off, go check if your albino ash tail spawned. If not, go kill another one, just because you'll get some schneidy people, especially, like, I don't know if he was there the whole time, but you'll get some schneidy people who just sit here watching you kill off the ash tail phoenixes, and then when an albino one appears, they'll go tame it, which is a complete and utter waste of time for you. I also suggest that you lower the health of the albino ash tail. Obviously, it is an elite mob level 25, so it can be hard to tame, and getting a, another mark for it is just annoying. Like, the horned owls that you need to get the albino ash tail mark are actually... They're not that bad, like if you go on there, the horned owls are only common familiars, but it's still a, a grind worthy to have to get 15 to grind them all up. But guys, that is the main chunk of the whole recipe, just getting the albino ash tail mark to get the albino ash tails. Now we're going to move on to the blue flame, the blue flame, sorry, the blue flame phoenix in the broken caldra. Caldra, someone commented saying I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry. But I'm going to move on over to there and catch you when I've got there. Alright guys, we're at Broken Caldera. See, I'm remembering to pronounce it correctly. And to get the Blue Flame Phoenixes, it's just like the Horned Owls. They're simple, common familiars. You just gotta pick up a few common seals. It costs you about a gold, gold 50 silver. All you have to do is get the level 1 to 10 ones. And then just fly up to 200 meters and grab some Blue Flame Phoenixes. I'm pretty sure that we're all familiar with this. Like, we've been here a couple of times to grab a few things, whether it be the Emberstone, the fly higher or the blue flame phoenix itself but they're in and around obviously they're a little bit i'd say less common than the emberstone flame crest but you can see there's two there they're, they're about to respawn more there's another one 
it, 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 they're not that hard to get at the end of the day. And once you've gotten that, you're pretty much set to go and get Windrunner. So there's a fourth, like, there's a fifth. So all of them are here for you to tame. And, of course, they respawn. But as I said, yeah, once you've done that, you're ready to go get the Windrunner mark. You've got your Albino Ashtails. You've got your Blue Flamed Phoenix. All you need next is Familiar Orbs. Obviously, soloing dungeons, getting repeatable quests can easily get these for you. Ooh! I, I just saw something in my loot storage. I was like, what's that? What's that? It was just taming potions. Fair enough. And then the elite taming potions. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. The elite taming potions you can get from any barter crafter for 60 silver as well. And then once you've got that, you get two Windrunner marks. So if you're able to tame Windrunner within one go, you could sell the other one off for like 35 gold, 30 gold, which is really, really good. But I'm going to head over to Hercane's Crossing now and attempt to get Mr. Windrunner. I, I spent three hours yesterday looking for him, went on his flight path and all of that, and just wasn't there, wasn't there. So hopefully my luck is back today and we can catch him. But if I do, guys, you will catch me soon. All right, guys, welcome back. And yes, I know, I already have Windrunner. And it seems... Is that Windrunner again? Nah, that is Windrunner again. So we're just gonna follow him pretty much. I, I, I got Windrunner, I went to film Windrunner, I did film Windrunner, but because of the update yesterday, I'm currently in taming mode, because of the update yesterday, it changed my screen resolution, so I've gone to edit it, and like, three quarters of the screen is just black, and it's just the game in a tiny little box in the top left, which is obviously not acceptable for a video, and I don't want to bring that and show you, but we've gone through the steps of how you get the recipe, We've gone through getting all of the albino ash tails and everything like that. So by now you should be set with the Windrunner mark. Now we've just got to go along and find Windrunner, which is what I would have done. But he's right here. So I'm going to follow him on his flight path just so you can get a good idea of where he flies, how high he flies. Just watch my altitude. Obviously you can see how fast he flies. And then from there you can go and tame him yourself. A few tips would be to, if you can, get a friend to heal you, because you have to, I would suggest uh, lowering his HP. I mean, he's level 25 elite. I got him down to about 10 HP. Uh, not 10 HP, 10%, like really little left. And then I tamed him, and it was an easy tame. I would also suggest, while you're going to tame him, going from above and jumping off and then trying to land on him, rather than being at the same level and now my problem with what I when I was trying to find Windrunner is that first of all the albino ash tails took so long so yeah if you can follow the tips I gave you to I guess get the albino ash tails a lot faster where'd he go here he is and the fact that I was actually at like 140 meters looking for Windrunner I did not know that he was this low in the sky if that makes sense like he was so low Compared to a lot of the other mounts, say the dragons that are really high up, Broken Collegia, the Blue Flame Phoenixes, they're rather high up. He's just casually chilling at 60 meters. But I think for the rest of the video, guys, I will follow his flight path and speed it up until we get back to where we were. So you can get an idea of where to go, of course, because why make it hard for you? Make it easy for you so you can see his flight path and not be the big pleb like I was high in the sky trying to look down and obviously not rendering him in <laughs> but i'll catch you guys in just a second oh and watch my mini map if you want to get an exact like detailing and location of where he's going So we've just got into this area, and if you do follow the wiki like I do to get a lot of your mounts, on the wiki it actually says, if I just whip up my mount a little bit higher, map, sorry not mount, it actually says its flight path goes in a circle. It does not at any point say it crosses over, but there is a dent and it does seem like he's turning back. So be sure to actually follow that dent with him, rather than just cut across and go past the city, because if at say his furthest point in the dent like now, the curve, you may not render him in if you look right to see if he's there. So make sure you're just curving in by the city as well. And then obviously following background when, when we finally make the turn. They said he goes at a decent pace, but this just seems like 
standard flying pace, which in my eyes is pretty slow, to be honest. Pretty slow. That's speed. Haha. <laughs> Catch up to him just a little bit. Just a little bit. Here's one of his resting points. So this is one of the areas where he'll stop for just a second. And now we begin the final, like, giant turn around until we get back to where we first followed him and picked him up around the curve in the road down there. So it's not, not too big of a flight path. Oh god, I've lost him. In here, has he gone up? Guys, unfortunately, as you could probably see, I may keep it in the video, I did lose him. As I was, like, showing you a place where to go on the map, I think he either went up or down because he does gain some altitude. But I'm following the flight path now, which he does take, and if you do lose him like I did, just wait at this area, the little dent in the road, and he will eventually come back to you. If not, just go wait down by the farm where we were starting off, and he will once again get back to your area. But that is how you get Windrunner. Let's have a look at his stats before I leave it there. Move speed of 9, the highest max altitude flying mount I've currently got with 700. That is the region max in the Sea of Hacanus as well. A lot of physical defense and a little bit of defense. And if you turn him into a pet, it gives you more physical defense. And, um, I guess, more increased magic attack. But that's going to end it here. If you've enjoyed, be sure to leave that like down below. If you want us to get any more mounts, be sure to check out our update video coming out probably tonight as well. Just showcasing what's coming out with the new update and what we plan to do. And until next time, guys, thanks, and I'll see you on the next video.